now let's talk about the experimental instrument in amphibian in order to study the response of a living tissue to a stimulus in a laboratory we need a living tissue preparation a stimulating device and a recording devices the electrical and mechanical appliances used in amphibian experiment can be categorized into stimulating appliances recording appliances and other appliances which is used in the experiment a stimulating device of the various type of stimuli mechanical chemical electrical thermal which can be used electrical stimulus is usually employed because its site intensity frequency duration and timing can be accurately and easily controlled it is least injurious to the tissue it can be given either with a set of batteries and a pair of electrode galvanic current or by using an induction coil faraday current or induced current recording appliances the recording of the response is done by using a writing lever which inscribe on the surface of a moving drum mounted on a chymograph other appliances are also used in amphibian experiment stimulating appliances which is used in experiment are current sources which is 220 volt ac current and 6 volt dc current usually keys dew boys raymond induction coil stimulating electrode and electronic stimulator which is used in uh, diversifying the current and voltage ampere and intensity are controlled by stimulating appliances chymograph is usually used for the recording and in miscellaneous uh, appliances which is used in uh, amphibian experiment are lucas chamber myograph board isotonic muscle lever sterling heart lever connecting wires tuning fork electronic signal marker variable interrupter and weight with hangers let's talk about current source for stimulating a muscle or nerve usually is done through 6 volt dc current it is supplied with 6 volt direct current from a central low voltage rectifier plug to the mains low voltage mains has two pin plug point from the battery or from the uh, step down transformer 6 volt dc from a central rectifier is also used or use a battery instead of 6 volt central rectifier high voltage mains or three pin plug point it is supplied with a high voltage current 220 volt ac and is meant exclusively to run the chymograph no other electrical appliances used in amphibian experiment is to be connected to it else it will get burned completely keys they are used for completing or interrupting an electrical circuit the key used in the experimental laboratory are of various type simple key or primary key short circuiting key or secondary key and reversing key simple key it is used to open or close the primary circuit short circuiting key or secondary key it is connected in parallel in secondary circuit and is kept closed for short circuiting the current that is to prevent the accidental passage of the induced current flowing to the tissue this key should be open only when it is desired to stimulate the tissue this point and this point is connected together and this point and this point are connected together in parallel reversing key this is used to experiment where two electrodes are required it is employed to shunt the current from one electrode to the other in 180 degrees position in this position 
this is in off if it rotate in this direction the current will be passed through and it will connect the point this is used for the diversion of the current dubois raymond induction coil this is used to convert the available low voltage high ampere direct current into induced current which is always to short duration it is high voltage low ampere and phasic current phasic current means voltage rise and fall rapidly this is the neef hammer it is an optional built in interrupter connected in series with the primary coil it work on the principle of an electric buzzer it is uh, it interrupt the primary circuit about 40 time a second resulting in repeated induced current pulses of the same frequency it is used when repeated high frequency stimuli have to be given to the tissue it is a built in automatic interrupter connected in series with the primary coil of the induction coil it work on the principle of an electrical bell it interrupt the primary circuit about 40 time a second and produce repeated induced current of same frequency in the secondary circuit the primary coil is fixed and the terminal are connected to the dc source while the secondary coil terminal are connected to the electrodes both coil is connected with short circuiting key or secondary key the secondary coil has a much larger number of turn and wire is thinner than the primary the closer the secondary coil is to the primary coil the stronger is the magnetic field of the primary coil and therefore the stronger the current induced in the secondary coil the induced current is strongest when the two coil are parallel weaker than they are at an angle and least or nil when they are at right angle this position is at a right angle when secondary coil is going through this way and this is the position of parallel the induced current is strongest when the two coils are parallel the induced current is nil when they are at right angle stimulating electrode it is used to stimulate a tissue it consists of two insulated copper wire held together by a piece of perspex plastic body with a central hole to fix it to the myograph board the stimulating electrode are three type muscle electrode vagal electrode and thin wire electrode muscle electrodes it consists of thick insulated copper wire passing through a plastic body with a central hole for fixing it to the myograph board the end of the wire are bare of their insulation
Wegel electrode it consists of two thick insulated copper wire held close to the each other with the help of thick insulating material the end are insulation bear they are used for stimulating the vagus nerve thin wire electrode are thin copper wires employed for the stimulating the amphibian heart it is coiled round the ventricles when used electronic stimulator a student stimulator this is a step down transformer having precision for stimulation of biological tissue it can be used to replace the stimulating unit of amphibian experiment electric chymograph this device is used to record movements on a moving surface the degree of movement can be analyzed from the height of the wave its relation to time is measured by the horizontal distance Lucas chamber or muscle trough It is a plastic trough with an outlet at the bottom which is graduated with a rubber tubing and a clamp the base also has two holes plug permanently with a cork to facilitate the pinning of tissue to the wall of the trough a block with carries the electrode and a light frictionless muscle lever with writing point can be attached it is used in experiment where the tissue has to be submerged in ringer solution the chamber is mounted on a myograph stand this is two hole for fixing the tissue this is writing lever for the record of graph this is the pointer of writing lever this is the pair of electrode it's connected with a draining tube and pinch clip is applied on the drainage tube the writing lever is connected with 10 g weight myograph board it is a wooden rectangular board layered with wax isotonic muscle lever it is a writing lever which can be attached to the myograph board to record isotonic muscle contraction the writing point of the muscle lever is provided with a capillary pen ink writer or is made up of a triangular piece of photographic film the muscle tendon is tied to the lever with the help of thread there is a screw called after load screw near the fulcrum of the lever which can limit the downward movement of the fulcrum to desired level three or four holes are provided on the proximal end of a recording arm of the lever to suspend small weight Sterling heart lever 
It is a sensitive writing lever to record the isotonic contraction of the heart which are relatively weaker than skeletal muscle contraction. The mechanism is same as isotonic muscle lever. Tuning fork Vibrating frequency at 100 cycle per second with a writing pointer attached to one of its prongs. This is prong, this one and this one. Is implied to take the time tracing. It is set vibrating and then writing point is made to write on the rotating drum. A tracing is obtained in which each wave indicate 0.01 second. Each wave indicate 0.01 second. Electromagnetic signal marker. Desirable to have the point of stimulation also marked in the tracing when the stimulus is applied. This signal marker has a writing lever and an electromagnet. The lever moves up or down during the make or break of the primary coil, up and down. It marks the point of a stimulus. It is connected in series with the primary circuit. Vibrating variable interrupter. It is an electromagnetic interrupter which allows the vibration of a piece of a metal on a brass rod. When used, it is connected in series with the induction coil. It enables interruption of primary circuit at frequency which is lower up to 25 seconds and more precisely adjustable than in the Neef hammer. The frequency is set with an adjusting screw. When used, it is connected in series with the induction coil. Weight with hanger 10 gram approx weight, one piece is 10 gram. is hanged from long arm of lever to bring lever back to the baseline after the contraction. It is used with uh, various instrument like isotonic muscle lever and sterling heart lever to adjust the weight. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel.